Hello, Year 3. So, the aim of today's lesson is supposed to be drawing accurately. And that means using a ruler to draw accurately, um, not just the length of lines, but also the shapes. However, I know that at home some of you won't have rulers or pens or pen paper um, or protractors or things like that. So actually, we're just going to have a bit of a fun lesson today and I would just want you to do your best and try and draw some angles for me. So, I've got our reminder here. Acute, these, these are both acute angles. There are obviously lots more acute angles and acute means less than 90 degrees. Anything less than 90. So 89 degrees would still be an acute angle. Right angles, obviously they show you by having a little square in the corner, are exactly 90 degrees. And obtuse, which means big, are any angles more than 90 degrees. Okay, anything more than 90 degrees. So what I have done, and what I would like you to do, okay, is this. I started writing my name, okay? I did use a ruler, and I'll attach the video of how I did it in sped up form, okay? to try and give me some angles. Now, if you don't have a ruler, that is fine. You can try and draw straight or you can do googly lines, whatever you want to. And what I want you to do is try and find some angles in your name. Okay, so I've done that there so we can try and find some together. In fact, I've got this one here because um, I managed to do my whole name at one point. So I'm gonna put that there to remind us. So here, obviously, in the S, because I've used a ruler, I know that these are 90 degree angles. So I have put the square to show that they are right angles. In fact, when you use a ruler, a lot of them are going to be right angles, okay? So it depends on your name um, as to whether you might have anything else. So because I have an N in my name, I've also got these really small angles here, okay? And I have labeled them with A because they are acute, okay? They are acute. There's another acute one. I've got plenty of right angles I could be labelling here, okay? But you can see them all. Now then here, I know that that is much bigger than a right angle. In fact, I've got a right angle there. So that I've labelled as a right angle. Then on the outside, I've got an obtuse angle. In fact, I could have even done that one here on my end. I've got my acute one on the inside. And on the outside, I've got, oh, because I've got my obtuse one. Okay, so you can have a go like this and just label the angles if you want to, which I think would be really good. And then if you can upload a picture, that'd be really fun to see all your hard work. Okay, and then just something extra front, oh no, not there. What I then did, because I was a bit bored, is I tried to do my name in bubble writing. Okay, and you can color it in any way you want. And what I tried to do again, was I then just started drawing random lines um, in my name, and then I tried to find the angles. So as you can see here, I've already labeled some of my right angles, 90 degrees at the top of my eye. And then here, I found two acute angles and an obtuse angle. Okay, so I really don't mind how you want to do it. You can either do it that way or that way, or you could do both if you want to, It'd be really good practice with your angles. Okay, and just really think, if it's the perfect, perfect L shape, then I know it's going to be a right angle and I can label it with a square. If it's anything under, it's acute. If it's anything over, it's obtuse. Okay, I'd love to see your finished names. Good luck and have fun.